hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the fractional distillation of crude oil crude oil is mother of all liquid fuels so different types of liquid fuels like petrol diesel kerosene can be obtained through the fractional distillation of the crude oil so in this process initially the crude oil is heated to very high temperature that is around 425 degrees centigrade in an iron retort and the hot vapors are passed through the fractionating column which consists of number of horizontal stainless steel trays let us see the apparatus used for the fractional distillation of the crude oil it consists of iron retort and fractionating column in this iron retort the crude oil is heated to very high temperature that is 425 degrees centigrade at this temperature the crude oil is present in the vapor state now the vapors of the crude oil will be passed into the fractionating column so whenever they enter into the fractionating column they will move in upward direction initially the temperature of the crude oil vapors will reduce slowly with the with that the heavy oil having high boiling point will be collected at the bottom of the fractionating column so slowly when the vapors of the heavy oil move in upward direction initially the diesel oil having the boiling point around 250 to 300 degrees centigrade will be collected later kerosene oil will be collected next naphtha followed by the gasoline and finally it is possible to get petroleum either having the boiling point of order 30 to 70 degree centigrade so the gasoline that is obtained by the fractionation of petroleum is called as the straight run gasoline or petrol let us see what are the different fractions obtained through the fractional distillation of the crude oil based upon the number of carbon atoms present in the fraction along with the boiling point so petroleum either is having boiling point around 30 to 70 degree centigrade and it consists of hydrocarbons ranging from c5 to c7 the major use of petroleum either is it can be used as the solvent most important liquid fuel with great demand is petrol it is also called as gasoline its boiling point is around 40 to 120 degree centigrade here the hydrocarbons ranging from c5 to c9 will be present it is the most important fuel for internal combustion engines next fraction is naphtha its boiling point is 120 to 180 and its composition is c9 to c10 it is also used as the solvent coming to the fourth fraction that is called as kerosene oil and its boiling point is maintained from 180 to 250 degree centigrade here the composition varies from c10 to c16 it is the most important jet engine fuel coming to the fifth fraction that is diesel oil its boiling point is 250 to 320 degree centigrade and the, this composition consists of hydrocarbons ranging from c15 to c18 and it is the important diesel engine fuel let us see what is the composition of petrol so in general fuels consists of major carbon as the major element so the composition of carbon is 84% hydrogen hydrogen is 15% nitrogen sulfur and oxygen together contribute to 1% if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day